Can you read to me the nameplate? Judge Ebony K. Williams. So the only thing that matters in this particular courtroom is how I see it. I am from North Carolina by way of Louisiana with some West Coast cool and a New York edge. Do we have a problem, ma'am? No, I don't, Your Honor. Equal justice is all about the most important values of our country, freedom, integrity, and those are the things that I'm striving for. Ma'am, you run your household. This man gets to run his. I decided to become an attorney and pursue the law. I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless. This court can not hold this woman accountable. People from all sectors of life, black, white, purple, gay, straight, queer, and that's what Equal Justice with Judge Ebony K. Williams is all about. Cheryl Collins claims she got stuck paying the bill after a first date snuck out mid-meal. Jason Sutton says he invited the plaintiff for drinks only, but she showed up late, then ignored him, so he bailed. Good day. I see I've got Cheryl Collins here as my plaintiff and Jason Sutton as my defendant. Ms. Collins, I see you are suing Mr. Sutton for $218.69. Why are we in court today, ma'am? Well, Your Honor, last May the 20th, um, Mr. Sutton here invited me out on a date mm. and then proceeded to walk out on the tab. This man asked you to go with him on a date and then he left before the bill came? Yes, ma'am. Uh-oh. Uh, tell me more. Let's start with how did y'all meet? How do you know this man? So, I'm a social media influencer mm -hmm. and Mr. Sutton, the defendant, like came on he my slid, page. He slid into your DMs? Yes, okay. essentially. Mm -hmm. And we were discussing and we were talking for a couple weeks and we oh. were just chatting over the phone mm -hmm. and he originally asked me out on a couple dates mm -hmm. uh, first one being coffee and the second one being ice cream so those dates took place no ma'am oh um, I don't drink coffee first off and secondly I'm lactose intolerant so we did not do coffee nor did we did ice cream so Plus, you declined those dates yes your honor okay continue ma'am well, after we had continued talking, I was, he shortly after decided to ask me out on a date. Mm -hmm. And we decided on dinner Friday at 5.30. Unfortunately, our original timing did not quite work out with my schedule. Mm -hmm. I had to reschedule on him twice. First time being with work, mm -hmm. um, I was on a fashion shoot, and mm -hmm. my shoot lasted a little bit longer than I was anticipating. That so, because this is how you pay your bills, I assume, ma'am. You're a full-time influencer. Yes, you're. Right. And I do think sometimes people hear that, Miss Collins, and they can be dismissive. But the reality is, some of these social media influencers are making over a hundred thousand dollars a year. So, um, and you're presenting very beautifully to the court today. So this is, you know, something that's lucrative for you. So you do have to show up to these things. Yes, you're. Okay, right. so your shoot runs long. You have to reschedule. Yes, that was the first one. Uh, second, I ended up having to reschedule on him a second time because mm -hmm. my father what did fall ill oh, and he sorry. lives. Thank you. Yeah. He does live nearby, okay. so I tend to go over there and take care of him every now and again. Okay, so there's two reschedules. He's understanding, I, I suppose. And then, how do you actually get on the date? Um, well, eventually, our schedules ended up working out, mm -hmm. and we were able to make it on time great so uh, we scheduled for 5 30 on a Friday mm -hmm. and I was a little bit late I How got late ma'am uh, we scheduled for 5 30 I showed up at 6 15 45 minutes late M mr. Sutton I, I promise you I did not fail math thank you sir <laughs> I appreciate that um, okay 45 minutes late ma'am that's not a little go ahead uh, I got stuck in traffic ma'am ma'am Come on, please, go ahead. So I showed up at 6.15, and that was when our date proceeded. Mm -hmm. And how was his energy when you showed up 45 minutes late? Because uh, this is the first time y'all are seeing each other in person, correct? Yes. Okay, so you can see that doesn't make like a great impression. So to the extent he was excited to see and meet you finally, that might be compromised after 45 minutes of waiting on someone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right, but you get there. How was it? Did he look like his pictures? Because that's very important. Uh, yeah, actually, he looked a little bit better than his pictures, okay. to be honest. He's not very photogenic, but real life, doing pretty well. Okay. Um, nice. No, I say that with sincerity because you're right. Most of the time, that's not the case. Continue, ma'am. Okay, so uh, you see him in person. He looks better than his photos. What does he say to you? 
very, very small chit chat, just pleasantries in regards to when I show up. And I'm a little frantic because I know that I'm running late, mm -hmm. so. Were you apologetic, ma'am? Of course. Okay. Yes, so sitting down, the waiter originally comes over and I go ahead and I order myself a margarita because they're my favorite. And I have not eaten all, all that day, mm -hmm. so I'm starving. Mm -hmm. So I originally go ahead with my margarita, order a calamari as well. Okay. And Did you ask him if he wanted anything to eat, ma'am? <laughs> no, I'm just, because we're getting your order in, but. Well, order? I assumed that he would have ordered something if he wanted okay. anything. So the answer is no. No, I did point, not you ask. just ordered your margarita and, and your calamari, okay. Yes, he and had a just, drink already. Okay, well, I would hope so if he was sitting there waiting for you for 65 yeah. minutes. That's my rule. Once you are one second late, the party starts, honey, okay? <laughs> it's, it's drinks and food. Coming up on Equal Justice. By the time the waiter brings over the food and the, the margarita, mm -hmm. um, she is on her phone. She's on social media, she's posting, and she starts acting like I'm not even there. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Cheryl Collins, who blames Jason Sutton for ghosting her mid-date. And then do you proceed to order more food? Yes. Okay. Later what did you on. order, ma'am? Um, well, after I finished the original appetizer, I went ahead and I ordered another drink. Mm -hmm. and um, Also a margarita? Yes. Because I just want a visual. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't really like to drink on an empty stomach, so um, I not only had the, cal the calamari, but mm -hmm. I also had the fried alligator was my second. Mm. Yeah, it was very interesting. And now, was that just still a starter, or have we gotten to your entree yet? No, that was just the uh, starter. Okay, what, let's go. What, what did you get for your entree, ma'am? I got a salmon. Okay, so you had the calamari, you had the fried alligator, you've had two margaritas at this point, and now you've got a, a, a plate of salmon? Yes. Okay, and did you get any more cocktails? I did get one more cocktail. Okay, so you had with three my dinner. drinks. Okay. Do you have um, an itemized bill that the court can look at, ma'am, and see? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Go ahead and profit that to my bailiff. Just have everything I'll take everything. Sure. And while you That's are doing you. that, you know what they say about stories. There's two sides. Let me get to you, Mr. Sutton. Thank you for your patience here, sir. Let's get to what you can corroborate. You meet this woman on social media, she's very beautiful. You slide in her DMs, you start communicating. Yes, you, Your Honor. You find out that she's a social media influencer professionally, bada bing, bada boom, somebody's number is exchanged, y'all start talking on the phone. Yes. At what point, sir, do you decide, I am interested enough to take her on an in-person date? Well, I, I was interested very early on. I asked her out uh, two times, both mm -hmm. times she turned me down. So then, after two cancellations, um, and did you believe those cancellations? To be to be completely honest, the you, you better uh, be you're sworn in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. The the first scenario, uh, the modeling. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about it. I think she could have taken maybe 10 or 15 seconds just to send me something. She told me like 10 minutes before our date. Mm -hmm. I've already driven there. That was very upsetting to me. Okay. She left that part out. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. And then um, as far as the the second incident is with her father's illness. Yes, I, again, I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. No, I, I, I understand. I, the court agrees with that. Yes. Okay, so for finally, yes. we get on a dinner date, and you concede, <laughs> Mr. Sutton, that you did ask her on the third date, and it was your idea to say, you know what? You don't like milk. You can't do lactose. You don't like coffee. Let's go to dinner. I said, let's go to drinks, not dinner. I never said well, see, anything. See, you gotta clear it up, mm. see, Mr. Sutton, because this is how I'm gonna make my ruling. So you're telling the court that you said nothing about dinner. You said, let's go to drinks. I said, let's go to drinks. Ms. That's Collins, it. did he say, let's go to drinks? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, continue, sir. First, you know, she reschedules twice, as we've mentioned, and then finally we lock in a date, and it's, it's during happy hour. At fr I noticed that. I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> <Five> <laughs> but when you said that y'all were meeting at 530, it's happy hour. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Yeah, and I made that explicit that I wanted to meet at happy oh, hour. Oh, you said that. Okay. Yes. And one thing I like about somebody this direct is you know what to expect. Yeah. So there's an indication when someone says, I want to take you out during happy hour, you know what time it is. Cheers. 
Right? I mean, hello. Right. Okay, go ahead, sir. So you 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 own that you are looking for a happy hour experience. Continue. Yes. Yeah, so, so I get there at 5:20, Your <laughs> Honor, and I get a phone call from her at 5:25, mm -hmm. saying she'll be a few minutes late. Okay. I interpreted "few minutes" as a few minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I guess and that then means you, something you found else. Out to it her. was 45 minutes. It was 45 minutes. Right. I, I ordered one margarita, mm -hmm. and uh, the waiter felt so bad for me. He slipped me another one at the happy oh. hour price okay. after six o'clock when that ended. Mm -hmm. um, she finally shows up at 6:15. I'm a little annoyed at this point, but I'm trying imagine. to keep keep it together. Now, did she look like her photos? She did. She was gorgeous. Okay. No, she is. Yeah. yeah. And um, mm -hmm. she find <laughs> she finally sits down and. Uh, the conversation was she was apologetic when she showed up 45 minutes late, sir? I mean, she mentioned it vaguely, but it was. But you didn't really feel like it was no, heartfelt. No, I, okay. it felt very. I don't cold. know why, but for some reason I suspected that. Okay. Yes. Um, so she sits down. She orders herself a drink. Yes. Uh, well, she orders herself more than a drink. She orders a calamari as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very, very brief conversation. Well, you should, let's back up. Yes. When she orders the the cocktail and the calamari together, I presume. Yes. Were you surprised because your, your offer was drinks? Of course, yes, okay. I was very surprised. I wasn't hungry, I ate beforehand. Um, we said we were meeting for drinks specifically, and I just didn't think she was gonna be ordering food. And I don't eat fried food like that either, Your Honor. Right, well it doesn't really matter. Yeah. The point is, as you said drinks, she starts ordering cuisine. Oh, exactly. And you are shocked, but you don't say anything. You're mm -hmm. just shocked. Now at that point, because I'm just curious, were you contemplating the possibility that maybe there was going to be a split check at some point? Like maybe if she's hungry, she'll take care of her food, but allow you to treat her to cocktails because that was the nature of the agreed upon date? I thought we were meeting up just for drinks. Right. And I thought she was going to maybe fit the bill for her, but what she did in the subsequent moments made me question that entire thing. Okay, so yeah, what did she do then? Well, by the time the waiter brings over the food and the, the margarita, mm -hmm. um, she is on her phone. She's on social media, she's posting, and she starts acting like I'm not even there. Coming up on Equal Justice. She wasn't even done with the previous place before she starts ordering more food. And so she orders the salmon and the other drink, and I'm just fed up, I can't take it anymore, I'm seeing red, and I just decide I have to leave right now or else I'm gonna make a big mistake. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Cheryl Collins, who blames Jason Sutton for ghosting her mid-date. What do you say about that, Ms. Collins? Were you working on this date? Well, I am going to be taking photos and I am taking videos. I'm with That's a handsome working. young man mm -hmm. and I mean, I suppose, yes, considering the fact that I am an influencer, it Correct. is working. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're working on the date. You now feel... I usually don't bring my work to a date. And, and let's honor, get to that, sir. What do you do for a living? I am a substitute teacher. Okay. Uh, what grades? Uh, K through 12. I'm able to... Uh, Go everywhere. You're certified. Yes. That's excellent, sir. Okay, so you work in education. You're now on a date. Your date shows up 45 minutes late. She immediately pulls out her phone and starts engaging and really working on the date. Yes. Uh, while she's ordered, uh, so far, a calamari and a margarita. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And the waiter comes by mm -hmm. again, and uh, still ignoring me, and she orders her second round of drinks mm -hmm. and a crispy alligator. Mm -hmm. Another top shelf margarita, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting really fed up at this point, as I think any reasonable man would be. Okay. And the waiter is about to come around a third time, but you know, I, I said, let's try to give this one more chance. And I try engaging in a conversation with her, and I asked her about her father. Mm. She just ignores me. She doesn't even engage in the conversation, which calls into question everything else that came before. Okay. When did she order the salmon, sir? She ordered the salmon at the end. That was the third time okay. they came around. Yeah, so she, or she wasn't even done with the previous place before she starts ordering more food. And so she orders the salmon and uh, the other drink, and I'm just fed up. I can't take it anymore. I'm seeing red. Mm -hmm. And I just decide I have to leave right now, or else I'm going to make a big mistake. Coming up on Equal Justice. What lie did you make up <laughs> to get out of this horrible situation? Yes, I told her I was going to the restroom, and I'd be lying for my car. And I didn't look back. Closed captioning provided by this is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Cheryl Collins, who blames Jason Sutton for ghosting her mid-date. 
What was so, the big mistake? I felt like I would explode, Your Honor. I was just so angry and felt so disrespected. Oh, well, okay, okay. So how do you get out, literally? Like, how do you excuse I told yourself her, for the table? Yes, Your Honor, I told her I was gonna go to the restroom. Right, what, I was, said another way, what lie did you make up <laughs> to get out of this horrible situation? Yes, I told her I was going to the restroom and I V-lined for my car and I didn't look back. Okay, so you never even went to the, re to the restroom? No, I never went okay. to the restroom, no. <laughs> oh, Ms. Collins. Um, sir, do you have any evidence for the court? I do, but I would just like to add, yeah. the next day she did text me about this mm -hmm. and uh, she said I was rude to fed her with a bill like that. And she said you were rude. She said I was rude. I told her she was rude to show 45 minutes late and right. she was rude to ignore me mm -hmm. and lie to me. Okay. So. I did pay for my drinks, though. I sent her that money okay. digitally, and I have that here for you as well. Yeah, offer that up to the court. Woo-wee! <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. You're a clown for disappearing on our, quote, date and not paying. This is from the, from the plaintiff. Defendant says, I said I wanted to meet for drinks, that's in caps, not dinner. Uh, Madam plaintiff says, you're just full of it and cheap. Defendant says, just sent you $20 for my drink. <laughs> Go find another sucker. I ain't the one. I do see uh, where there was a digital $20 sent. Ma'am, did you receive this money? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I don't think uh, I have to hear any more from either of you two. I've seen this story before. The court is ready to rule. Now, nobody hates a cheap man more than me. Yeah. Nobody. Judge Ebony's verdict when equal justice returns. This is Equal Justice. What this court will not condone is women or men coming into my courtroom under the guise of chivalry when what they're really doing is dating for dinner. Ma'am, you are dating for a meal. It's low integrity, it's anti-feminist, and for lack of a better term, it's trifling. Believe it or not, Counterintuitive, you cheapen yourself. You cheapen yourself. You become a version of a type of prostitute. Mm. I'm just gonna tell it to you plain. And I don't believe that's what you intend. Now, if this is a man you are seeing, if this is a man you are dating actively, if this is a man who you've invested time and energy into as well, then your expectation should rise according to that mutual investment. And then, Mr. Sutton, you do have to put up or shut up. Uh, but at this point, the court is not convinced that you did anything wrong. In fact, the court is convinced, ma'am, that you operated in bad faith, that you wasted this man's time. So the court completely dismisses the plaintiff's claim of $218.69. That is my ruling. All rise. Judge Ebony has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. I cannot believe that. I, you owe me the money. Well, I, I definitely agree with the ruling of this court, and uh, the greatest gift of all, though, is never having to see you again. So. Okay. You've had your day in court. Please follow me. Ladies first. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.